Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn how to use Q file class in Qt. The Q file class provides an interface for reading from and writing to files. So let's see how we can uh, use the search feature in Qt and uh, you know get the help about uh, Q file. So just search for Q file here. And here you will be uh, seeing some result and the result which says Q file class just click that option which is this one right and in here you can see it's the same uh, definition which uh, I told you which is the Q file class provides an interface from for reading from and writing to files right so uh, let's see how we can use Q file in Qt so I've created this blank project and I'm going to go to my main window.ui file and in here what I'm going to do is I will take a plain text so search for uh, plain text edit and in addition I'm, I'm going to take some push buttons so I'm going to take two push buttons one for uh, reading and one for writing to the file right and I will change the text of uh, this button first of all to write first button and the second is to read okay and then I will just uh, provide this horizontal layout to the buttons so I will just click this button and then I will just uh, provide this and this so I will select them and provide the vertical layout to them okay and then I will uh, click on this main window and then I will choose a vertical layout for them so layout vertically okay so in this way whenever you uh, you know stretch your window it will uh, resize accordingly okay now first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, try to write to the file create a file and write to the file so I will right click on this write button and then I will go to slot and I will just choose clicked and click OK here and first of all in order to use Q file you just need to add or include Q file first of all right so just uh, include Q file class include and then just write Q file okay and in addition we are going to use a class called Q text stream so we need to add this also so just use include and just write Q text stream okay so you just need to include these two files now in order to uh, write to a file first of all we need to create an object of Q file so just write uh, Q file here and then uh, it should be Q file and then you can uh, give the name to your file object for example file and then in here in the constructor it takes one argument which is the location of your file and the name of your file right so you can just uh, give uh, some name to your file for example my file.txt and it will create this file in the build folder of your project right otherwise if you want to specify some specific location for example I want to create this file inside my project folder so I can right click uh, on any file of my project show in Explorer and then I can copy the path of uh, this project and then paste it here in front of the, this file name and then I will just replace uh, the, these uh, backslashes by forward slashes right so this will create this file in the project folder of my project right now in the next line what I'm going to do is here what we need to do is we need to open the file first of all right so we need to check if the file is open or not so you just need to use if condition and then just write file dot open just use this function called open and it will return you the boolean value so if the file is not open then you cannot work with the file right so first of all in this condition we are checking if the file is open or not and this takes uh, two uh, uh, arguments one is what 
type of operation we need to use so we just write uh, q file and then we will just say write only because we are writing here right so just write write only okay and then we need to uh, provide one more flag which is q file and this f should be capital and then we want to create a text file so just write text here okay and then in the f condition if uh, this is not uh, true if the file is not open we can uh, show some error so let's add a q message box here so include for example q message box and then we can uh, show some message here if the file is not open so for example some info or for example uh, warning and then just provide the arguments of the message second argument is the title and the third argument is the message for example file not open okay so this is for uh, checking if the file is open or not now once the file is open now we need to uh, you know create some object of a q text stream in order to write uh, inside the file so let's create a q, q text stream so just write q text stream and then create an object of it for example out and then it will take one argument which is the reference to your file object right so just give uh, and file something like this okay and then you can use this out object and write in it using these angle bracket like you do in c out or uh, q debug if you have used q debug right and then uh, it takes uh, the q string uh, object here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just below this uh, object i'm going to create a q string variable which is something like this q string and then i will say for example text uh, okay and then i will take the text from my plain uh, added you can see we have this plain added right so i will take the text from the plain added and then transfer it to my uh, file so i will just write ui and then i will uh, search for plain text added which we have added dot to plain text okay and this will give you the plain text which you enter into the text uh, view here and it will convert it to the string which you can pass here as a uh, text to the file right and after you have done the operation on the file you you need to flush the file so you just need to write file dot flush like this and flush what it will do it will uh, flush all the stream which is inside this out it's like a flush operation you do with for example uh, flushing your toilet or something like this it's the same flush right and then once you have done writing and flushing then you can close your file something like this okay so this is how you can uh, write to the file now let's see how we can read from a file so i will go to my main window.ui file and this time i will select this read button and then go to slot and then click ok and in here i will write the code to read from the file so the first uh, thing we need to do here is uh, for example uh, what i will do is i will just copy this code from here okay and paste it here so first thing is to create an object which we are already doing and let's say we want to read the same file which we have uh, uh, you know created and we have written some content inside the file so we need to uh, read for example my file dot uh, text after writing into it so that's why i will not change this path here right 
Now in the second line here, in the read case, we have provided this flag called write only. But in the case of uh, reading, we just need to uh, write read only here. So just write read only, okay? And the next flag will remain the same, which is the text file. We need to read the text file and the warning will remain the same here, right? Now here we are reading from the file. So instead of uh, out, the variable name should be in because we are reading the file, right? And in what we are reading the file, for example, we want to uh, take this uh, file content into a queue string variable, which is text here. So instead of uh, this code, which was taking the text from the plain text, we will just take this in variable, which is uh, this one. And then we will just read all uh, the content from it using this read all function. Okay. Now uh, in the next step, what we need to do is uh, instead of uh, this, we need to set some text into the plain text what we have read, right? So we will uh, just use UI to set this text to the plain text dot uh, plain text edit, then just write set plain text, for example. So you can just write this function and then just pass this text to this uh, plain text uh, editor here, right? And while you are uh, reading a file, you don't need to flush it because there is nothing to flush. We are reading the file. In case of writing, you need to use flush. And in case of reading, you don't need to use flush. But in both the cases, you need to close the file once you have uh, done your operation with the file, okay? So this is the simple code for reading and writing to and from file. So let's run our app and let's see what happens when our app runs and if it runs successfully or not. And by the meantime, what I will do here also is I will just uh, right click on my one of the file of my project and I will just say show in Explorer so we can see the file being created at runtime, right? So this is my project folder and this is my project and we want to write something, right? So what I will do is I will just copy this function itself and then I will just uh, write here. I will paste it here, this function itself, okay? And then I will press this write button. And once I press this write button, you can see this file is created here, right? My file dot text. And when I open this file, it has the same content of the function which I have written, okay? So this is how you can write to a file. Now I will delete everything from here and then I will just press this read button and hopefully it will show this function in this plain text once again. So I will just click this read and you can see once this button is pressed, uh, you know, this file content is shown in the plain text uh, added here, okay? So this is how you can use Q file to read and write to a file. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.